modern democracy, yet the European Union does nothing about it. And I am getting more and more concerned about... Order, order. Can I just say, the Honourable Gentleman has only just walked in, and normally it's courtesy to hear a little bit of the debate before we intervene, but also we do need shorter interventions when we're going to get them, if we don't mind. Michael Connerty, it's up to you whether you want. I do understand the emotions that are running among those who have been very pro-EU uh, uh, in their... In their the member for Huddersfield should know better than challenge the chair. It's not my fault because he may be somewhere else in the chamber. If his preference is to be on a committee here, that's his choice. But don't expect to walk in and actually intervene on the chair in that way. Michael Connerty, I've made my route. The member for Huddersfield, on the point of, and it better be a point. Upstairs, and I have every right as a member of parliament to intervene on my colleague. What I would say it is discourteous to other members in this House not to have listened a little bit of the debate than to walk in and intervene straight away. That's my ruling, and that's what I've said. Michael Connerty. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as I repeat, I do understand that uh, people have been very supportive of the EU process over many, many years. 